Hey. Hey. Will they start? I'm just catching up on some anything. I thought maybe we could have some breakfast together. I've eaten already. I would still like to talk about last night. But there's nothing to discuss. I've moved on already. We'll prove it then. Let's let's spend some time together. You spend time with each other? No, not just the two of us. I, I just I think it's important. Why would you have a mind? Oh, I thought maybe we could go into town or go somewhere nice for dinner. Yeah, sure. Don't sound too excited. I would love that. Like you say, it's important for us. I could I could wear that blue dress that you like. Even better. I better go. Do, do I not get a kiss goodbye? Yeah, sorry. Right, I'm off. OK. <clears throat> you decided what you're going to do, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to tell her everything. I hope she understands. Yeah, be upfront and truthful. <laughs> yeah. It's just that stuff I did with Griff. Uh, it's history. It's who you are now that matters. And the fact that you're willing to tell her that will show Beck. Yeah, it's like Gail always says. Honesty is the best policy. Exactly. Unless it's, you know, bad hair day. Or anything weight or fashion related, then you're asking for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, love. See you later. Summit to wet your whistle. Oh, there, thank you. Oh, he is such a lovely boy. Yeah, well, he has his moments, doesn't he? <laughs> Don't let this go to your head, lad. Morning. Morning. Hi, boss. Can I get you out? Uh, no, thank you, Bernie. Well, it's very nice to see you both. Well, I always have a fortifying cuppa before we go off on one of our marathon walks, don't we? Don't we, Freddie, eh? Morning. Sorry I'm a bit late. I think nothing of it. Mm. So, are you feeling fully recovered? Well, in indeed. Uh, and with that in mind, uh, I feel ready to take Freddie off your hands. Oh, well, not before time. I thought perhaps I could pick his things up later on. Yes, yes, whenever you like. You hear that, Freddie? Mm? I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm more than happy for you to walk in this morning. Oh, don't do me any favours. Well, if you would prefer not to. Um, no. No, I'm up and about and ready. Never let it be said that uh, Evelyn Plummer only did half a job. Well, thank you. Mm, it's all right. I don't want any gratitude. I should be very glad, actually, to get my proper time back for myself. Yeah. I'll go make it anyway. Pack your bags and money. That better not be Paul's file. I'm, I'm just trying to connect uh, Damon to the insurance scam. We are not going down that rabbit hole. Well, at least tell me who beat Damon up. I don't know. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. Listen, Dee Dee. No, you listen. This case is dead. I buried it for Paul's sake. I'm not going to involve Paul. You won't do anything full stop. Why are you protecting Damon? It's you I'm protecting, you idiot. And don't give me the old ease the bad guy spiel, OK? This isn't some righteous crusade. This is about you wanting payback. So even if it was, what's the problem with that? Uh, beside the fact that you're not Jason Statham and it's completely unprofessional. So I'm just meant to suck this up, am I? Precisely. Look, I, I want your word, Adam, that you will leave this alone or else you and I are going to have a serious falling out. Well? OK, you got my Morning. Morning, Alia. Look, I don't want us to have this conversation again, all right? Whatever. Thanks for nothing. Is everything OK? Only time will tell. Of course we can have Harry. Not too short notice. You no, know we don't, Mike. I just think me and Adam need to spend a bit of time on our own. How are you two? You don't have to answer. No, it's fine. Um. We're a work in progress. I'm just not really sure what he's thinking at the moment. Well, maybe he needs a bit of time. Yeah, and look, this is like not a criticism or anything, but um, you guys, your involvement with Damon, it's just rubbing salt in the wound. Yeah, that's tough, but you know, we can't just get rid of Damon. No, no. Look, it's my fault, it's my mess. 
Adam loves you, you know. Sometimes not enough, though, is it? Anyway, got to stay positive. Right. Oh, thank you, and thanks for listening. Oh, don't be daft. OK, so, um, shall I drop him about half five? Yeah. Yeah, right. See you later. Morning. Morning. She OK? Never mind, Sarah, you're late. Yeah, sorry, I got off the phone from Lindsay Graves, who runs the Weatherfield Market Association. Yeah, I know, Lindsay. Anyway, I booked us an appointment to go and have a look at a couple of spare pictures tomorrow. Well, you're not messing around, are you? Well, unless it's with somebody else's wife. Oof, yeah. It's OK, Nick, I deserve that. Look, I'm offering a business opportunity here. If my personal life no, is a problem... we're on board, like you said, you know, it's a good investment. I told you, mate, it's a licence to print money. You won't regret it. <laughs> Famous last words. Did you have to go there? Yeah. I think we should have told Sarah about Adam getting for Damon. I mean, it could get messy. Well, it's already messy. Now, I say we stay well out of it. About Damon? What about him? Do you think we should warn him? Well, he's a big boy. I'm sure he can take care of himself. 